Hi, my name is Mark Lashensky. I want to welcome you to my studio and thank you for coming by to see my piece for Art in the City uh, along the Riverwalk here. Now you're standing in front of a, a sign, a representation of my piece, but it is actually a three-dimensional art piece. Uh, there is a, a fan in it, there's bottles in it. Um, this type of artwork could be referred to as maybe like a, an altered ready-made. Uh, that would be something along the aspect of uh, um, something that Duchamp would have made in the uh, uh, early uh, turn of the century, last century. And um, uh, so um, this piece here, when you first look at it, uh, the immediate reaction by many people is to just let out a big laugh, a aha type of a laugh. And, um, and probably because it really uh, kind of looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Here's this, this fan blowing against these bottles, and it looks like maybe, oh, the fan is blowing against the bottles, and it's causing them to tip over from the force of the wind. Uh, and this does reflect my humor side. I like that aspect of it very much. Um, the idea that, that uh, somebody would laugh at it is um, something that helps draw you into the piece, hopefully. But um, I do have a couple of underlying themes to this. Now the first, uh, if you'll notice, there are um, some iconic brands in there. There's, there's Coke and Pepsi and there's 7-Up. And, and these are brands that are, you know, they've been made iconic brands over the decades uh, so that they're, they're known around the world. And just about everybody has held a, a Coke bottle in their hand at some point in their life. So it's something that, that uh, is culturally significant as well. And, um, and so I actually created my own brand here as well for the fan. And this is just an old fan, but it's, uh, um, it's got a logo on the side. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a couple of swirling lines coming through the middle of an oval, and then it says climate changer on it. So here's a, a fan that uh, it could be um, a legitimate brand for a fan. You know, here's something. Oh, we're going to we're going to uh, change the climate of your room with our fan um, by blowing air around and uh, helping to cool you off and make you feel better. But because of these brands in here, I could actually see this piece um, being used as a photograph for a uh, an advertisement for one of the sodas that's in here, perhaps. And you could imagine, uh, you know, in the 60s or 70s, Life magazine, great big ad in there with, uh, with maybe these um, items in it. And, um, and a couple of people in, in the ad that are oh, sweating from the heat. And, and, um, and then across the top, you might see the words refreshing. And so it is this idea of playing with these, um, these iconic brands in this Madison Avenue uh, corporate environment that that works to get you to buy things, whether or not you need them or not. It's, it's just something that they do. And, uh, and so there's that aspect of it where, like I said, you could, I could see this as an advertisement for, for some brands and, and I'm playing against that. But there is another underlying theme in the piece as well. And it is based on the name of the piece, Climate Changer. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the artist Paul Klee. Paul Klee uh, was a painter uh, who, um, one of his paintings that's always been a favorite of mine is uh, this one called the Twittering Machine. And in the Twittering Machine, you can see this, it's very abstract, uh, cubed off kind of uh, painting um, with uh, what looks like it could be a bird cage in there and there's a perch going through the middle of it that has got a, actually has a crank on it, I believe. And then there's this uh, abstract representation of, of several birds that are standing on top of the perch. Uh, in fact, they're actually chained to the perch and the painting is uh, um, uh, Klee's commentary on industrialization and, and the industrialization that was happening in the world at that time and, and its effect on uh, these creatures, which maybe are uh, human-type figures that are being churned by the toil of this industrialization. And so in this piece, um, I'm playing on that as well. Here, my bottles represent this, this uh, kind of human figure. 
and they're figurative and they're bending over and they're they're like toiling and they're tired and they're sweating and they're hot and they're um, they're not feeling good and um, and then there's this fan that is blowing against them and you can see it's drying the perspiration away from them but is it really um, and now we've got the idea that this is a climate changer and you know if we have climate change it's been caused by this industrialization that we've we've uh, um, had going on and since you know since whenever and um, and we're now we're using some technology to try to reverse that I don't know it seems ridiculous doesn't it I don't know if it can be fixed or not but um, that's what the play is in this where where we're trying to use our technology to to try to save ourselves from ourselves